Subgradient methods are iterative methods for solving convex minimization problems. Originally developed by Naum Z. Shaw and others in the 1960s and 1970s, subgradient methods are convergent when applied even to a non-differentiable objective function. When the objective function is differentiable, subgradient methods for unconstrained problems use the same search direction as the method of steepest descent. Subgradient methods are slower than Newton's method when applied to minimize twice continuously differentiable convex functions. However, Newton's method fails to converge on problems that have non-differentiable kinks. In recent years, some anterior point methods have been suggested for convex minimization problems. But subgradient projection methods and related bundle methods of descent remain competitive for convex minimization problems with very large number of dimensions subgradient projection methods are suitable because they require little storage subgradient projection methods are often applied to large scale problems with decomposition techniques such decomposition methods often allow a simple distributed method for a problem classical subgradient rules let be a convex function with domain. A classical subgradient method iterates where denotes a subgradient of it and is the iterative. If is differentiable, then its only subgradient is the gradient vector itself. It may happen that is not a descent direction for it. We therefore maintain a list that keeps track of the lowest objective function value found so far, i.e., which is resultant convex optimized. Step size rules Many different types of step size rules are used by subgradient methods. This article notes five classical step size rules for which convergence proofs are known. Constant step size, constant step length, which gives square summable but not summable step size, i.e., any step size is satisfying, non-summable diminishing, i.e., any step size is satisfying, non-summable diminishing step lengths, i.e., where, for all five rules, the step sizes are determined offline before the method is iterated, the step sizes do not depend on preceding iterations. This offline property of subgradient methods differs from the online step size rules used for descent methods for differentiable functions. Many methods for minimizing differentiable functions satisfy Wolf's sufficient conditions for convergence, where step sizes typically depend on the current point and the current search direction. An extensive discussion of step size rules for subgradient methods, including incremental versions, is given in the books by Bezekers and by Bezekers, Nedek, and Ostigler. Convergence results for constant step length and scaled subgradients having Euclidean norm equal to 1. The subgradient method converges to an arbitrarily close approximation to the minimum value, that is by a result of Shaw. These classical subgradient methods have poor performance and are no longer recommended for general use. However, they are still used widely in specialized applications because they are simple and they can be easily adapted to take advantage of the special structure of the problem at hand. Subgradient projection and bundle methods. During the 1970s, Claude Lamar Eccle and Phil Wolf proposed bundle methods of descent for problems of convex minimization. The meaning of the term bundle methods has changed significantly since that time. Modern versions and full convergence analysis were provided by Keywheel. Contemporary bundle methods often use level control rules for choosing step sizes. Developing techniques from the subgradient projection method of Boris T. Polyarch. However, there are problems on which bundle methods offer little advantage over subgradient projection methods. Constrained optimization. Projected subgradient. One extension of the subgradient method is the projected subgradient method, which solves the constrained optimization problem minimized subject aware as a convex set. 
The projected subgradient method uses the iteration whereas projection on an is any subgradient of it general constraints the subgradient method can be extended to solve the inequality constraint problem minimize subject aware or convex. The algorithm takes the same form as the unconstrained case where is a step size and is a subgradient of the objective or one of the constraint functions at take where denotes the subdifferential of. If the current point is feasible, the algorithm uses an objective subgradient. If the current point is infeasible, the algorithm chooses a subgradient of any violated constraint.